And if you're not free, then you will be free yeah, soon uh, because you will be free. This yeah, song yeah. by Beverly Bremers. The song is called Don't Say You Don't Remember. The last song we'll be playing on the first hour here at the Teddy Smith Show of Bob O'Brien. Bob O'Brien and Teddy Smith. How you doing, sir? song recorded five years ago, I believe it was. Is that Very correct? Good. I'm Bob. I'm going to put you on hold and you keep speaking. Bob and Teddy, don't hold Don't Have Say You Don't Remember. Remember. Yes. Mm -hmm. The re-recorded version. Yeah, we're going to play it again at the end of the show or the beginning of the next show. You got this. How's that sound of you? Six. Give, a, give us some of the insight into, into the world of Beverly Bremers, some of the great things that people don't know about you already. Well, one is that my name is pronounced Bremers, oh. which um, only people who have talked to me know. <laughs> it is, ladies and gentlemen, Beverly Bremers. Forget Bremers, <laughs> as in Bremers. Yeah, I know. Everybody, everybody does, and, and then I uh, just how you can kind of tell if they've met me or not. And you know what? This show is going out live, so we we can't edit the Bremers, but we can we can re-edit the Bremers. <laughs> okay, I know that's crazy. So you don't need to do that. But um, you know that's uh, one of the things. There are a lot of things that people don't know about me. I uh, I was doing Broadway shows at the same time that Don't Say Don't Remember was out and being played on the radio. And one of the reasons why I'm not as well known, or my name is not as well known to people is that I didn't hit the road and tour. Instead, I wanted to be on Broadway and doing my thing. So I was actually in here and then the Me Nobody Knows during uh, that entire period. Uh, Dick Clark had to basically talk me into taking a few days off to come out to California to do American Bandstand. Wasn't Dick Clark a great guy? What a wonderful man, right? Fantastic. He's fan he was just a doll. Um, he's the only host of a show that I know of that not only met everybody before the show, but he had wine and cheese for everybody um, in the green room um, about an hour before the show. And so we got to sit and, and schmooze, get to know each other. So by the time we went on the air, we felt like we were old buddies. Well, it was, it was really easy to relate to Dick Clark. He was like a, a real gentleman, and he was a real. He had a lot of class, didn't he? Very much so. Yeah, he really cared about artists and, and of course, music. He was probably the biggest fan of music ever, you know, and it showed. And I think that's why he lasted so long. Um, you know, that show was on absolutely forever. <laughs> well, we got a. Uh, we have a 45 for you that Bob O'Brien is holding up to the video that's going to be on YouTube this evening or tomorrow morning, for that matter. And it's Beverly Bremers, We're Free, as opposed to Beverly Bremers, We're Free. But uh, <laughs> it's a great 45 that Bob is going to put down there later on our wonderful turntable, uh, Friday Night Turntable Number 1. And uh, he plays all your great songs on Turntable 1, 2, 3, 4, and Number 5, and Number 7, and 99, and anything else that you want to say. Anything that you'd like to tell us, Beverly, about your upcoming Broadway show, your upcoming website, or give out your website or any information that people would like to know about your recording career? Well, certainly, um, my website, people can find out whatever they want. It's simply BeverlyBremers.com. So, you know, they just have to be able to spell B-E-V-E-R-L-Y-B-R-E-M-E-R-S. And there I am, or just Google me. So I have my website, um, and then people can see what else I do. I do voiceovers. Um, I teach a lot of things that I do. I direct. I'm directing a show right now with 60 people in it. Uh, we're doing a like, salute to Hollywood music. And um, I'm working on my new CD. Um, I have it half finished, and so people can buy the first half. It's called Been There, Done That, and this is prime cuts from that. Um, and that's on my website and CD Baby as well. And, of course, I have my other CD that I sent you, which is um, also all original material um, and my remake of Don't Say It Don't Remember. Um, you may not know that I am also a songwriter, and one of my big songwriter claims to fame was a song for Disney called Mouser Size. No, I didn't know that, but I'm glad that you're sharing that with us now. Yeah, some people may remember it. It was a show on the Disney Channel for 12 years. Um, as
as well as a, a record, CD, cassette, show at Disneyland, uh, uh, and of course it, it was around forever and it went platinum. I actually have a platinum record for it. And a lot of, it was a kids exercise album, um, but it just really took off. And so um, that's one of those little known facts. And I also write musicals. Um, I just finished my fifth one, which is a Christmas one, and hopefully I'll get a production up for that. But I've had a couple of those up. And, um, I, you know, I do shows all the time. I was in the Rocky Horror Show in L.A. right before it was a movie. So some people may not know that. And, um, so i got a question for you. Yeah. If I was uh, Barbara Walters, what what kind of a question would I ask you? Do you know offhand or not? Well, she usually wants to know stuff like, uh, you know, who are you seeing or <laughs> crazy things like that. Or if you had one word to describe yourself or, or is that James Lipton that asks that, you know. Yeah. If you want a deserted island, who would you want to be with? I don't know. Crazy things like that. Um, I've often thought about that being asked, man, and I don't really know. Well, if I, was <laughs> I really have no definitive answer. Well, is there any traumatic experience <laughs> you'd like to define for us? That is a recording artist in your all these years, that some some negative effect that you turned into a positive. Um, no, you know what? I've been pretty lucky. Uh, you know, probably my only disappointment was that Olivia Newton-John beat me uh, out for the role in Greece. So do, Bobby, um, that would probably be my only uh, trauma. Um, but other than that, you know, I've been really lucky overall. You know, I I should have gone on the road, I suppose, but then again, um, I wouldn't have been able to do all the theater that I've done. So there's a show that was out a couple of years ago that's still playing all over called Menopause the Musical. You might have heard of that, although the women probably know it more. And, uh, Pam, do you know it? I've heard of it. It's on Broadway. It's a send-up of, uh, it's all contemporary songs, well, old pop songs, uh, with new lyrics about being old and having having that pause and all that, and it's a huge hit. And I did that for a year also in Los Angeles. I think it's still playing in New York. I'm um, certainly still in Las Vegas. They have it all over the world now. And, uh, you have such a great So voice. I like to do fun, fun, funny shows. You know, that's my thing. Uh, you've probably heard my voice on radio commercials from time to time. That's something else I do. Yeah, so we'd like to have you do a commercial for us right now. I bet you would. Yes, we'd like you to say uh, you have a great voice. Uh, we'd like you to say uh, this is uh, Teddy Smith and Bob O'Brien here at WPAT New York. How about that one for a liner? Okay. This is Teddy Smith and Bob O'Brien right here at WPAT in New York. Yay! Now we have for us tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Beverly. It's been a great Great pleasure to have you. Oh, have one more line that you could say. You have listened to Teddy Smith and Bob O'Brien on America's Most Beloved Radio Station, WPAT, or the alternative, you make it up and say whatever you want to say. How's that? Okay. I'll see if I can remember all that. <laughs> you have been listening to the fabulous Teddy Smith and Bob O'Brien right here on WPAT, America's Most Beloved Radio Station. Thank you, Beverly. Beverly Thank Breamers. you. Thank you, Beverly Bremers, as opposed to Bremers. And uh, Walter Regan yes, is next. By the way, tell